that's it. Before we get too much copyright, how's everyone doing? I'm Ben, good to see y'all. For some reason it looks brighter than usual here, kind of like I'm in a dream sequence. I bet you there's something on the damn lens. Eh, what are you gonna do? I can clean it. We can vote one to clean it, two to not clean it. How's everyone doing? Let's see, who do we have in the chat? We already got 14 people in here. We got seven thumbs ups. Once we hit, oh, I'm gonna be ambitious. Once we do 30 thumbs ups, unboxing time. 40 thumbs ups, phew, show off a new guitar I got. 50 thumbs ups, phew, might even give away a pedal tonight. What? I know. We have, first in the chat, we have Mozzie himself, good to see you. We got Terry's GG and G in the house, Zach Thong, just up the road. I always say, like, that's your last name, Zach, every time, right? Zach Thong, just up the road. We've got Joe Hervey, 84, what's up? He says, you wanted the worst, you got the worst, me. I don't know, I'll give you a run for your money. Vincent Wiener, good to see you, sir. We've got Mike McEe in the house, welcome back, good to see you, man. There's Will Varela, that's trouble, look out. We've got Mark Effects in the house. We've got The Count of Self, Phil Mosley Music. Daniel Horsley's gonna try to hold out as long as he can due to his craptastic internet. And thank you on last night, buddy. Man, that was awesome. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Gary Tholander is here. Jasco Plumbing Supply, my Bronx brother. We've got Lawrence Petros in the house. Yes, package from Mr. Petros arrived today. We've got David Ennis, we've got me scrolling further down, we got Paul Guitar Music 2, we've got Soda, hey Neff, give your hat away, could give the hat away, I don't know if I've ever even worn the hat, probably get crushed during shipping though, dicks. Headstock Harem, wait what, a pedal giveaway, man we might, we might, if we get enough thumbs ups, Randy Crooks, always good to see ya, Fruitcake Tony, Brad Miller, always the pleasure. GRRRs here at least temporarily. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe Joe, uh, as the French would say, LPD stands for Le Pedal Dude. <laughs> Robbie Johnston, VC Rich 581. Hobo Rody. I think we covered everybody. Well, let's see what we can do. Matthew Stewart, hello. So yeah, how about that? We'll do uh, 25 thumbs ups. We'll 25 thumbs ups. We'll do the unboxing. 35. We'll show off the other guitar or the guitar I picked up last week, and 50. We'll give a pedal away. I know it's ambitious. Ivan Carter, Axel. Good to see you. We got all kinds of people. We got 37 people in here right now. Well, let's see, we're at 22 thumbs ups. I will say we'll wait at least till the five minute mark let people mosey on in before we do the unboxing. And yeah, a little riff to open the show, a little Brian Adams. There's Eddie Van Haskell. There's Six String Brian, sounding awesome. Couldn't open a show like you did tonight, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, got the Jackson restrung last week. I did that on Friday. So, uh, yeah, and that riff, uh, I was watching a demo earlier today, and the YouTuber played that riff right at the end of the video, and I went, rewind? Ah, that's how you do it. Cool. That's right. <laughs> Eddie always says hello to the Solenoid robot back there, too. Beautiful. Thomas Santiago in the house. Have you tried the Saguaro in pushing the Lost Dutchman? I have not. I was planning on doing some videos today, but uh, I was helping my dad outside do some stuff, get a, the riding lawnmower back up and running. Strange you're not holding a telly. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to play the Jackson tonight. Always good to see Pete Hickson in here. Anybody else that I miss? Sean Zimmerman coming in like a ball of fire. Man, he comes in saying hey to everybody right out of the box. Wow, we're only one thumbs up away. That's quick. That's quick. It's awesome. I hear that combo is pretty nice. Yeah, uh, you know, we could probably check that out. Ooh, what do we pull off the board? Oh man, do I have to pull off the Zen drive? Brian Adams and 
Ike Turner is coming for you. <laughs> exactly. All right. Ah, there it is. Usually I get song requests, not tone requests. Oh, excuse me. 28. I'm showing 27, but either way we hit the goal. So let's do a brief... Uh, Pardon me, folks. You guys know where the pedal board is. It's on the floor. There. There. Give it some power. All right. Hi. How's everybody doing? Hey, Lefty Mike. Can of beans, electrophaser. Jimmy Biter. As Andy Martin would say, that's my clean tone. Hey, Brian Landreth. Upside down. So that's Lost Dutchman. And we have the Saguaro boost with the uh, knob at nine o'clock. And uh, we'll work it on it up from there. You know what? I'm going to retune real quick here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Move that punch up to halfway. to three o'clock position. Exactly, Laura. Let's max out. And I should say uh, on the Lost Dutchman, we got the level at about 1030 the drive's at 130, so we're not putting a ton of drive into it. The punch is off, bass is at one, and the treble is just the skosh past noon. That's right, skosh. <laughs> Since my sister's here, and I know she would have missed the riff. Wow, I really messed that up. I dig that. I dig that a lot. And yes, I was using the old uh, TC Electronic Third Dimension. That's a modulation situation. All right. And yes, I saw some comments on the shirt. These are available at Flipside Music, flipside-music.com, our preferred US retailer of this show and series. And I will also throw a shout out to Arden's Music, our preferred Canadian retailers. Available at ardensmusic.com. Of course, our good friend Travis at Reno Finn. You know, he makes stuff like this and pickups. And then, of course, Rob Welch at Tessie Switch. Right there, Tessie Switch. Use coupon code Canucks, save 15%. Of course, Adam Reaver over at FU Tone. We like him as well. You don't have tone unless you got FU Tone, as far as I'm concerned. Wow, we got 51 people watching. Man, if everyone gives a thumbs up, we'll, have, we'll give away a pedal tonight. Which brings us to this. So it'll be about, what, Lawrence, week and a half, two weeks ago, randomly get a text with a tracking number and a 
smiley face emoji. I didn't ask what's in the package because, let's be honest, surprises from Lawrence are the best. Yes, and Brad Miller for the switch plate on the Ben Coombs signature. Hey, there is Dr. Dave. And he commented. I put a picture of this on the old inner Google there for those that were interested. Uh, I'm drinking Bud Light, actually, soda. Been on a light beer kick lately. And he said, this looks awfully big for a pedal. Well, let's open her up and take a look and see Yes, Since we were talking about Dave Lee Roth earlier on Brian's show, doing his Vegas residency, which why not? Like Brian said, that shtick of his is meant for Vegas. A lot of, you know, squinting and smiling at the crowd when you should be singing lyrics to the hit songs. Oh, holy sheep. All right. So we have a, a, a box within the bag. Hey, Cousin Todd. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh, dude, I dig that. I don't think I've ever noticed that before, Lawrence. I dig that. We got a, I want to say Chula or Chola Drive. Now, now I got to remember what the hell this drive is. Is this, this is not the fuzz drive, is it, Brent? Or is it a fuzz drive? I don't know, but we're going to plug it in. The knob's labeled jump, so might as well. Choya. Cho Choya? Choya. All right. Well, that makes sense. The Gia is the fuzz. Class A amp push really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be checking that out, folks. And yes, there will be demos done on all of the above. Oh, snap. Thanks, Upside Down. Here's a five on Joe's behalf, more in metal. It's two bucks. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and they have WTF. Gila. Right. That was creepy. Sorry, Soda. So we got another box here. Ooh, yes. Once again. Just one knob. That's all you need on a boost. One knob. What do we got hell? I really don't know. Oh, I think I know just by the crackle finish. Oh, snap. Oh, it is. Let's get it. There we go. A Lawrence Petros design modern classic. What's modern classic, Ben? Well, I'm going to give you my take on it. Which is, it reminds me a lot of, oh wait, I don't own it anymore, so it's not up there. Well, I do own one, but it's in pieces at a friend's house for the last three years. Uh, it reminds me of the Voodoo Labs Sparkle Drive, which um, is really awesome because if you eliminate this, the Sparkle Drive is kind of like a Tube Screamer. So consider this like a Tube Screamer, but more gain and less of that mid hump. Uh, and then you have a clean as well. So you can blend them both at once. So you can have clean and dirty at the same time, which is... Oh, snap, upside down. Dude, thank you. Jeez, I have a feeling we're going to be... Oh, we got 57. Oh, it was 58. 57 watch and 40. Six more thumbs up and we'll give a pedal away. And I think upside down paid for half the damn shipping on the pedal. So, no, I'm not giving away one of these Lawrence Petros pedals. That would just be crazy. I haven't even tried them yet. There's Milt and Laz. Justin Cox in Utah. Hey, buddy. It's been a minute. Good to see you. All right. <laughs> and we will plug these in and get tone tests. Let's put that there. But wait, there's more. Oh, yeah, and we have to figure out how what we're going to do to give away a pedal. Do we do a piece of trivia? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so, of course, there, boom. Oh, 
this one. It is the Lawrence Petros Combustible Lemons. What's that? Well, this is a little taste of Jimmy Page in a box. When Jimmy Page was using some Vox type amplification during some of the earlier recordings of Zeppelin. I dig the clear knobs too. There, we filed the boxes. Six String Brian asks, can I win a pedal? Sure. Sure. The question is, do we leave it open to our moderators as well, folks? No more worries. I'm taking them all back. I'll like that one, Todd says. Yeah, I know I will. So. <laughs> I guess I'll put the boost last. That way we can actually, you know what? We'll put the boost in the middle. I'll put it before this. You're going to love the combustible lemon, great pedal, clear knobs, yellow eddy, just for you, buddy. Yes. Moderators work hard for sure. Does that include UK viewers? I suppose. I suppose we could do that. Um... Especially if I get a couple more super chats, not gonna lie, because postage can be a hassle to get to overseas. But uh, if you folks are down with it, and my God, you know we're at, we're two thumbs ups away, and we're only what seventeen minutes into the show, so we're gonna vote. Can mods win? Hobo Rody says yes. Terry says leave him out of it. Mods can win upside down. So, oh, my, Jesus, upside down. You're basically paying for the damn shipping for the contest. I'm just donating the pedal. So, all right. So, I want to put this last. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, one lost Dutchman off the board. Great pedal, by the way, folks. You just wait till this goes into production. Mods, mods, where are the mods? <laughs> what was I putting in the middle? Ah, yes. Modern Classic, which I, this will be one that I've already played, folks. Uh, I stopped in at, I, I don't know, can you guys even hear me when I'm bent over like that? So anyways, I'll just speak up. Um, yeah, I asked you guys a question and bend over with my back to the chat, so I couldn't tell anyways. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I tried one of these at Carter's Vintage in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, and quite liked it. Ben, are you finally going to sell your gyps? At yes, it's totally up for sale, Milt, because we'll do a guitar show off as well as a pedal giveaway because apparently we're at 64 watching and 50 thumbs ups. So I'll grab the new guitar to try on the new pedals. How does that grab you? That's what I thought. Grabs you right in the sweet spot. I feel all warm and tingly inside. All right. Man, these things need some Velcro. They're all flopping around sideways and this and that. All right. Hit off the vape. Hey, Sonia. And anyone else that jumped in while I was looking down? Sorry. Hello. Sean Zimmerman. Don't know. Oh. What? Bottom vertical coil? Yeah, 0.15. See, I, I was like, man, BVs. So this is the new guitar, folks. Oh. I know. It's not a telly either. This is a 2011 Made in Japan Wolfgang Special. Which I picked up off a guy locally here. Thanks, Brian. The neck is awesome. All right. Uh, right. I am muted. And because it's a hardtail, it does. Who's it? It's mine, Soda. Thank you, Islander Winder. Hello, Brian Pencil. Welcome. 
And as I always do, because I'm always reminded when I see a name I don't necessarily recognize, if you're new, please subscribe, ring that bell, so you get notified whenever I put out content, which is honestly, it's live shows Sundays and Mondays at 8 p.m. And what I call pre-recorded videos, whether it be a demo of a product, a repair video, or a vlog, and those come out Wednesdays and Fridays, as long as I remember. Usually around 9 a.m. Eastern, if I remember to schedule it. Well, see, Milt, the thing is, this made that uh, Fibson uh, obsolete <laughs> real quick. Yes, it does, but uh, it's only finger tight. I was going to mention that, Brad. I only just finger tight because it's a hardtail. So, you know. Oh, I didn't even hook these up in the order I wanted to. Hang on. Yeah, screw it. We got the boost first. Why does that sound? Aha! Why are they tune that deaf sharp? I don't recall playing this in open E. That's clean tone. So that's the boost just on its own. Ooh, that's nice. It's uh, adding a little something something. No, I just have the, the locking nut cover things just snug finger snug hey craig philly g guitar man thanks philly maxed out so it's just pushing it into breakup at noon let's try the uh combustible lemons uh everything looks to be at noon by default so bird's eye on the fretboard yes uh, try not to hit the jacks in here there's some to almost three o'clock. Ooh, that is bright. Let's put it at 10 o'clock. Give it some level. Uh, yeah, soda, a uh, really good deal. Yes. Well, locking nut, hardtail, fine tuners on the tailpiece. I don't know. Well, yeah, he wanted it. Hey, metalhead hippie. Nice. I like that. Oh, and the tone coat control is pre gain so if you want to get more fuzzy, just turn it counterclockwise. So let's put the tone down to 9 o'clock. So it's still pretty bright. Tone 
one all the way down. We really should be testing this with a telly. Yeah, just have to have one right here. Add space instead of cutting highs. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, Milt, if you're still watching, let me know next time you're down or hell. Shoot me a message, I can always ship you the guitar. Sorry, just joining in. Looks like you got a new guitar, Hardwick Stacey. Yes, I've got the Wolfgang Special. <laughs> hey, James Severin. all the way to the other extreme. Okay. I'm just demonetizing by the minute here. I'm playing with a bunch of new pedals I got, Mayhem. Right now, this is the Lawrence Petros Combustible Lemons. Let's max out that dry. I'm gonna put the tone down to about nine o'clock. guitar are you talking about, Joe? Hmm. Hmm. Is this going to replace my Lost Dutchman? <gasps> or does the Lost Dutchman get moved up in the game order and start using with the punch turned on? Things that make you go, hmm. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to check out the modern classic. Everything at noon. Uh, they are unique pickups to the Wolfgang, Joe. Uh, they're EVH Wolfgang pickups. They put out about 15k. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the clean from that signal. Just give it a slight goose. So no clean, this is just dirty. <laughs> usually ran it in the past. I'm going to put the gain down to about 1030. Hey, Tom Harhai! Albus! What'd you miss? Well, I showed off the new guitar. Just unboxed three pedals. Going to give a pedal away shortly. That's just the dirty. Now we're going to blend in some clean into that. Hmm. 
Nice, Justin. <laughs> Thank you, Islander Winder. So that's where I run it, you know, mainly as a clean pedal, but with some dirt underneath. in weeks, Will. Since I don't currently see my mag slide around. All right. Tom! I'm so jealous my good friend just bought a 66 Strat from YouTuber Matthew Scott. Interesting. Yes, uh, sorry, Aaron. I got the, what's it called again? Chola drive? Chula? Chola? Which is a class A amp kind of cranked boost. Uh, I've got the modern classic, which of course you're familiar with. Uh, we played one of them down in uh, Carter's. Koya. Nope. Choya? <laughs> uh, and I got the uh, combustible lemons, yeah. See, it's starting to fall apart, Will. That's about what I got out of me tonight. What happens if you play in a Marshall, in a box through a Marshall? Meh. Sounds extra Marshall-y. <laughs> tonight's for the night. Great googly oogly. All right. Should we give a pedal away now? With the drive at three o'clock, tone at one o'clock. One o'clock, drive three. Didn't ask what type of guitar. <laughs> So what are we going to do? What are we going to do for a giveaway? We got 52 watching, 52 thumbs ups. Oh, now I'm 
I'm getting the radio station coming through my amp. Very true, Aaron. So how are we going to give it away? Hey, Mitch. First, do we do a piece of trivia? We could do a random pick. Except I have my random generator number thing is on my phone. First person to stand up. Trivia. Pick a number. We could do that. Best rock star pose. Jeez Louise. Pick a number could work because I could say, you know, like we got 58 people watching, so I could pick a number between 1 and 58. So why don't we do that? I just picked a number between 1 and 58. Nope. Nope. While you guys are guessing, should I mention what pedal you're getting? Boom! Headstock harem just won. You, sir, just won. Where is it? An electroharmonic soul food. So if you could email me your address at canuckswithguitars at gmail.com or if we're friends on social media or something hit me up with your uh shipping address and if you're local hell we'll meet up and i'll just give it to you um this pedal has some history it's been gigged uh it's still in pretty good shape you know it's a little dirty it's got the velcro on the back so richie bought this several years ago and he used it as a dirt he used it as a boost and then i got it just to use as a clean boost well not a clean boost but as a lead boost i should say and this was on my board for every honey badger outfit gig all right that's quite do you want me to sign it headstock harem i can sign it on the side if you want or Maybe there. You're more than welcome, Headstock Arrow. Hey, iGaming. Good to see you. Tom says to sign it. That's up to Headstock Arrow. I happen to have a Sharpie over there. Use blood. No. You got it. <laughs> Tom, the Lord's plant. There you go. Shit. Metalhead hippie, is that true? Hang on. I see a 33 there. I see Todd Flower saying 33. All right, so there's Headstock Harem with a 33. Uh, looks like he did get it in before you, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe uh, Terry or one of my other moderators can go back in the chat just to be sure. 65 watching. Wow. 66 watching. Uh, I thought Mr. Mosley was in here earlier, Aaron. Uh, I did not open up the pedals. Can I send you my address through YouTube? Sure, yeah, you can message me on, through YouTube or, like say, email me at canuckswithguitars at gmail.com. Yeah, I remember, Tom, you had the first guess out of the bat. So I'm like, oh, snap, it's off by one. 
I don't have the box for this anymore, but hey, I have some pedal boxes. I just got some. Well, I'm going, I got it set to live chat, not top chat. Oh, look at that, we got a box. How about a Lawrence Petros box? The number was 33, Soda. Uh, AI Gaming, somebody did that. They did, uh, they used a couple of boss pedals, rehoused some vape mods in them. Hey Ben, gotta go, thanks for doing what you do. I enjoy listening in. Later, Philly. Brian Cote says he never wins. I'm surprised Brad Miller didn't win this. Is Brad, in? yeah, Brad's in here, there he is. I know Grant at Big Ear chose to give away a handful of pedals on Ryan Burke's birthday beat because the order didn't come in correctly and people sent screenshots. Hey, and there's Crowbar too. Yeah, Grant's a good guy. Hmm. All right. Right on this headstock harem. Just as a clue, Headstock Harem, what country are you in? Thanks, Terry. And if I did, did I say hey to Crawlbar? Because I meant to. Well, I just did. Hey, is Chris in here? Hey, Chris, welcome back. Just showed up, what do you miss? Uh, I gave away a pedal. I wasn't even really expecting to, but I just, I was thinking about it before I went live. I thought, you know what? Let's give away a pedal. Let's generate some karma. And part of that, folks, is because it's taking me longer than I really want to do this community build. I'm running into some delays on it, so I do apologize. It is happening, folks. Uh, and besides, you know, Lawrence was nice enough to send me some pedals, so why not pay it forward and Send one along that I'm not using as much anymore. What is the red thing? That is a Greta amplifier. Part of the Fender Pawn Shop series. Got a little uh, four inch speaker here, four and a half inch speaker, something like that. But then I also have the extension cab, which is a 112 cab with a Celestian G12P 80 watt speaker, I assume, near Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do all that headstock here, of course. I don't know what year it is. Uh, I think they were made in the last five years or so. Uh, I bought it used. I just got it recently from Richie. It still has all the tags on it. Like, you can kind of see right here. You know, it's got the little corner tag. It's still got the old style hang tag for the head. Which you can kind of see. Oh. Yes, Todd, I uh, just got your message, and I will be in touch about that. Wow, we got 71 crazies in here. Eh, no worries, Mitch. I don't want to be looked at as a greedy sod who never gives back. Oh. <laughs> this is sticking out a bit, so I was like, do I have dirt here? Is that a tag hanging down? Hey, hack. So... We showed off the guitar, we did the unboxing, we gave a pedal away. Which was, yeah, that's still random. Hey, no wonder I'm not getting as much gain. My Zen drive was pushing my volume pedal down. So let's play these pedals again. Yeah, Todd, I'll definitely uh, talk to you about that. All right, let's grab the Wolfgang. Maybe I'll do another giveaway in a few weeks. And I probably, I'm going to go a little long tonight, folks, if that's cool with you. You, know, you guys have been donating and tuning in. Christ. I think we had 95 people watching at one point last night. Oh, yeah, let's take this out of stand. <laughs> Classic 
classic end of the combustible lemons. <laughs> Sean Zimmerman. I uh, know, uh, Mitch. This is a Wolfgang Special 2011 made in Japan. So it's got the vintage sized frets, which I prefer, as most of you guys know that have been around for a while. And they're stainless frets, too. Um, of course, you guys, you know, we hang out in a lot of the same chats. So, uh,. I'll cover that in a minute, Chris. Sure. Um, so, last Thursday afternoon, I went over to see a buddy of mine I hadn't seen in a few years. He, had, he was partying with some gear. That is the bridge pickup, Aaron. With Wolfgangs, you put the switch up for the bridge. Hack apologizes, folks. He's on his phone. He can't tag everyone. <laughs> nice, Tom. Uh, oh, Aaron, it's to keep the switch out of the way when he was doing his, like, as... Yo. My EVH keeps moving its way to my throat. What about you? I'm not sure yet. Um, it's already, like I say, it's already kind of replaced the Les Paul-shaped objects I own. Uh, Sean, these things... Whoop! Hello! Come in! Isn't that the Dave Riome trick? If anybody watches Dave's World of Fun Stuff every time he pops this, he goes, for the headphone users. Come in! Anyways. Um, these run... I And I got the case with it. I got the EVH, you know, the SKB flight case, whatever. They run about a grand with the case, US. Uh, I did not pay that much. I'm not going to say what I did, but uh, yeah, a buddy of mine, I went over and checked him out, and as soon as I saw the first case he pulled out was an Ernie Ball case, I'm like, oh, snap, okay. We're talking serious gear. And so uh, it was at my buddy's store, and while he went to deal with a customer, I snapped some photos, immediately sent them over to Dave Nesdal, and I said, what's it worth? What are these things worth? I don't want to get hosed, you know, because Nesdal knows all. And, uh, yeah, that's right, Chris, gooched. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, this one was the, uh, more affordable of the two. The other one was an Axis, Ernie Ball Axis, Music Man Axis, or, I don't know. But it had two humbuckers. It was interesting, because it was almost like a hybrid of what Hack has. Because it was two humbuckers, uh, hardtail, but it still had a five-way switch in it. Oh, cool, Mitch. I haven't seen Frank C in ages. Hope he's doing all right. I don't, I can't remember the last time I saw him. Ernie Ball Sacks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super Sport. Yeah, I think it was a Super Sport. Well, they just started doing videos, Krellbar. Uh, talk about Henning's event. So everybody was just getting there the last couple days. Uh, I did see videos, like actual demo videos, start to be released today. Um, RJ Ronquilio did the angle lamp. Hey, Tone King! Good to see you, sir. New guitar, TK. Picked this up last week. It's a 2011 Wolfgang Special. So it's got vintage sized frets, stainless steel. Not too shabby, TK. Not too shabby. And we're playing through, uh... I got three pedals, Choya. <laughs> got the Choya Boost, the Lawrence Petros Modern Classic, and the Combustible Lemons. I'm using the Modern Classic right now, which is 
kind of like your sparkle drive, but way better. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Joe. Oh, cool, Mitch. Well, tell him, next time you see him, tell him I say hey. Uh, no, still just shooting through my phone, but using my B52 amp. I've been using that as of late quite a bit. Just different pedals, different volume. That's what I love about the YouTube mobile app. It picks up sound so easy because your phone is does, can handle that stuff today. And that. This would be the combustible lemons, which is kind of like a, a Voxy type thing. Right, go to tuners. I don't know, it just says EVH on the tuners. Here. Wow, I get more interference when I mute the signal. Man, I gotta get better wiring. There we go, folks. I can kind of see the EVH. Wow, 60 thumbs up, 72 watching. Uh, made in Japan. 2011 made in Japan, which uh, Dave Nestle was saying these necks are really sought after because of the vintage size stainless frets. So a lot of guys are taking these Japanese necks and putting them on their US Wolfgangs. Yes, hardtail Mitch with the fine tuners. That's why, and that's why I don't have the locking nuts locked down. Cool, buddy. You confirmed that, Aaron? Awesome. That's my bad wiring soda. What are we on time? Oh, okay, we're wrapping up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the standby. Because I want some more gain to end this because I know a bunch of you like that song I've been working on. And I know Joe asked, I think it was Joe asked earlier if I've been doing any writing. No, I'm still work, still noodling a lot on, what is it you named it, Soda? Greasy Weasel. We need the Lawrence Petras 87 because it's the key to the tone of Greasy Weasel. That must be a good band name, too. Best song ever. I know you like it upside down. Yes, Mitch, I picked this up last week. Greasy Weasel is the name of a song I wrote a couple of weeks ago. I didn't have a name for it. And so the fine folks in the chat, I've been playing a lot during the Monday shows, and they like that. <laughs> it's... Okay, I'll say distortion, Will. So there's the combustible lemons, folks. Great pedal. Great pedal. Running out of places to put pedals, but that's okay. Oh, it's on both pickups. into the 87. All right, we'll play it for you, TK.
from Greasy Weasel. Uh, Melvin's? Yeah. Hey, there's Nerd Halen himself. Caleb, good to see you, sir. There she is, and you got to hear her playing Greasy Weasel. See a hack? Looks and sounds great. I guess it will become your next favorite pedal and guitar. I right? uh, this combo. That. Just that. Oh, I love that. It is greasy. Ah, uh, so can I remember that Melvin's riff, Aaron? using the YouTube mobile app, Brad and Lewis. Make that tune into intro to your channel yeah that's the plan i i need to get it recorded actually metalhead hippie i try tk i try um and actually the song will be used as a theme song for a weekly show that my cousin is starting up on youtube i prefer greasy weasel todd <laughs> more than welcome aaron i know you love your melvins and that's about my extent of knowing the melvins Keep it greasy so it goes down easy. I like that, Hugh. Uh, yeah. I should be able to do that. We have the technology. A little bit. A little bit, Soda. Oh, I'm not signed into that email. Uh, I will have to check afterwards, Headstock Harrow. I just realized that. It's not signed in on this computer. Thanks. Well, yeah, Mitch, uh, it's the mobile app. I found the, mo the YouTube mobile app on a phone. Hands down, best for audio. I agree. Everyone who hasn't already subscribed to the Tone King should definitely subscribe to the Tone King. The next LPD pedal. Ah, I don't know, Joe. Jeez, I just got three new ones. Uh, that Phoenix Fuzz, though, it's causing a lot... <laughs> a lot lizard hoedown. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, the Phoenix Fuzz is generating a lot of buzz. and I don't mean that as a bad pun. Uh, that is called... That's an original Mitch Heyman called Greasy Weasel. Hey, little roadie guitar. Buy all of the LPD pedals. Yeah, no kidding. I'm getting there. I'm up to three, four, five. I'm sure, the lost. Oh, six, seven, eight. Do you use any DAW stuff? Uh, I do not. Not at this time. Uh, I got I got to get into that stuff because I got to set up some home recording. Um, I also want to set up so I can do multi-cam for pedal demos. Like basically, uh, anybody that's seen RJ stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, TK, definitely let me know for sure. Um, yeah, like I'd like to have the pedal here, you know, basically use two cams. Cams? Yeah. Cameras. 
Oh, for a do Reaper? Yeah, for recording. I've recorded in Reaper. Um, what's the other one? Audacity. I think we did a whole album recording through Audacity, and then I just mixed and mastered it through Reaper. No, mixed it through Audacity, mastered it through Reaper. That's what it was. Uh, I missed your comment, comment Soda. <laughs> Yeah, that Choya boost into the 87, because that's the 87 on its own. And that sounds great. Thank you, Craig. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, it is a mean little boost. Uh, Mitch, no, I think it's just stream error. It uses a lot less bandwidth, it seems. Because I, I think it's always trying to go for 1080, and stream error, it only goes up to, is it 720, 780? See, I don't even know what the damn resolutions are. Ooh, getting a Marshall Origin 20 head tomorrow. Little roadie guitar. Enjoy. Those are nice. Seven twenty. Thank you. But a lot of my. Uh, oh, hello. Somebody's at the door. Uh, I'm going to spend a day this week apparently going through my output jacks because my Epiphone Les Paul isn't even working for whatever reason at the moment. So I got to take a look at that. And Aaron, you and I have to talk tomorrow because we got to talk Winter Nam. We got to get that set up. I was talking with Ike today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, man, lost my train of thought. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying. That's why you haven't seen me around as much lately. I got a lot of crap going on in the background. Thank you, Jasco. I really appreciate it. Gooched again. Yeah. You're going straight on your winter ham. Nice. Okay, Terry, that's what it is. And see, I don't need 1080. All that's going to do is lock, you know, it's just going to bottleneck my upload because I have none. Oh, yeah, what I was going to say is pre-recorded videos. I'm going to start trying to shoot them uh, in 4K because of uh, a few reasons. But uh, let's just say it's better for the channel if I can. But what I'll have to do then is have the videos either on my phone or computer go into town to upload because uploading a 4k video it's ridiculous it takes me like 10 hours to do a four minute video yeah uh tk actually it's something to do with the youtube algorithm they're reading 4k videos and promoting them much more so for channel growth apparently to play with the algorithms game you know which we all kind of do then uh 4k is the way to go Yeah, Mitch, I think you're right on that, but it, they read the 4K, and I've seen that even videos will come up and say 4K next to the video, like they're actively promoting it. No idea, Hugh. It's a limited space event. It's a limited space event. Not everybody can make it. Yeah, I'm in drop tuning.
actually play that in drop tuning. Yeah, TK, actually, before I forget to say it, all those build series videos you're doing are pretty damn cool. Present coming for a telly, Brad says. Awesome. Thanks, man. I do appreciate it. See you, Mayhem. We'll talk to you soon. Get together. Have a pint. You know how it is. Mayhem's been coming over here about once a week, shooting the breeze. And bring over that bloody guitar so I can take a look at it, see if I can fix it up for you. Hello? See? Door's been ringing off the hook today. <laughs> bring up the mids a tad on the pedal and drop the bass a tad. I can do that. Yeah, I'd scooped it a bit to that one song, essentially. Chris has to head out, gotta go. My Black Star Kentucky special just arrived. Before you go, Chris, you were asking about the pedals. Ah, and this is the other advantage of running a YouTube channel on your phone. Uh, we don't want to hit end. Oh, let's see how. Huh? There we go. There's the new pedals. Well, that's one of them. That's the 87 I've been running. That's the modern classic. That is the Choya Drive. And. The combustible lemons. Hey, chivalry. Oh, don't hit end again. John L. Hello. There we go. Hello. Remember me? Yeah, you do. There we go. Meh. Hi, as Joe says. What's up? Wayne is a great guy. He is, Mitch. He is definitely a really good guy. YouTube has been putting lots of bass frequencies across. Interesting. And Chris, enjoy that black star. You are humped. Okay. Play your best Van Halen riff. Oh, Jesus. again yeah I'll try a DOA again but I prefer it in drop two on both pickups too. What are you going 
thing to get for an interface metal head hippie. Oh, okay, I see you're talking. Yeah, I gotta get an interface too, I suppose. Yes, you, metal head hippie, you shoot TK an email, and then TK can shoot me an email, and then there we go. See ya, Will. Thanks for tuning in, brother. I appreciate it. Yes, please. Again, if you're new, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Right about there? Down there somewhere? Yeah. Maybe? Yes? Hey! I think I'm back. Maybe? Chat keeps going. Chat's going. I got a spinny thing. and No, I don't know what the heck happened there upside down. It just all of a sudden gave up the ghost. I'm back. Yay. Eddie didn't sound much better in his drug out years. Well, you know. It's all about the lifestyle. <laughs> Phil Mosley says, I'm back, Ben's back, we're all back. 67 watching, nice. See you later, TK. We'll talk to you soon, man. You have to name the guitars the Dave. This one should be the Dave? Why should this be the Dave? That's why I'm curious. See you, Sleepy Labs. No comment, Craig. Well, I can't comment. It's legal here. <laughs> Drink more. Yeah, I haven't been. I've been nursing this beer for over an hour. Jeez. Yeah, actually, I'll hit up uh, TK about an interface, too. Because I know, like, guys like Tone King, they've been doing this for so long. They've probably gone through a slew of interfaces over the years. So, hey, Aaron, Graham, as opposed to Aaron Lee. I'm just curious, where do we get the Dave from? That's what I'm curious. Because I, I personally, I was going to name it Eddie, but I can't do that because I named my Kramer Eddie. So I was going to just leave this name Wolfgang because it's the son of the Kramer in many ways. Okay, break over, back at it, talk to everyone later. Loving the new pedals, we'll call you tomorrow. All right, love you, brother. Talk to you tomorrow. Mitch is admitting his uh, Wolfie, yeah. Wolfie would be good. Name it Sammy. Baker and Paunch. Poncherello. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's better than getting pinched by the heat, Tom. Well, 200 bucks well spent, in my opinion. It's only a buck a day. A buck a day to not get hassled by the man. Uh, let's see, focus rates, three and fourth generations now. Exactly, that's what I thought. Thanks, Mark. So those images. Didn't even know you were here. But thank you, sir. I appreciate it every time you tune in. Yeah, <laughs> so well spent. Yes, exactly. Subtle Amadeus Wolf uh, reference. But yeah, this thing, it plays nice. Um, it's weird, though. It feels like everything is pushed down this way a bit. It's the opposite I have of uh, like SGs and Firebirds. They always feel like I'm playing way out. Look at that. I'm so playing so far, my hand isn't even on camera. So yeah, it feels like I'm playing out of here. This one feels like I'm playing over here. But let the chat name it. Sure. You guys name it. Let me know. Let me know indeed. How are we doing on time? Wow, we are 17 minutes over the time but i was gonna go a little off anyways i get that curl bar talk to caleb he's what six four and a half or something dan helsing wolfie wolfie seems to be the number one. Ooh, Ooh. that burp picked up a bit of a hitchhiker on the way that's not cool oh we got 64 thumbs ups look what happens when you give a pedal away I kid. Wolfie is cool. Valerie. <laughs> Susan. The Phoenix. Cujo. 
Now oh, come on, Amanda. When have I ever been into that stuff? See you, James. Enjoy. Jamie, don't make her cry. <laughs> Agreed, Aaron. Yeah, they are quite long. What's the name of Ernie Ball's ex-wife? <laughs> Turgut Hammer. A little screamer. I'm, I'm, I'm digging Wolfie. I'm, I'm not going to lie, folks. Wolfie, uh, it struck a chord. No pun intended. Air Wolfie. Nice. Upside down says Wolfie wins. He's declared it. Man. These pedals, man, those are, those are some cool stuff. Now I gotta decide which boost. I th you know what? Oh, that. That Choya boost. That might be my lead boost going f forward. Wolfman Jack. Wolfie Jack. <laughs> Teen Wolfie. It is Krellbar. That's true. But, you know, like I say, it just ties in Son of Eddie because I got the Kramer first. Wolf tone, interesting. Just look in here, see what the battery power is like on the laptop. See, I could talk about battery power because Will left. <laughs> I believe I did call my Les Paul Les Crowbar. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I ever named that one. I've named most of the guitars have names. Most of them. The Jackson hasn't been named yet. The Talent hasn't been named. Um, I don't know if the Mockingbird has... I don't think the Mockingbird has a name. Hmm. I have to think about that. Yes. So, while I think of it, congrats again to Headstock Harem. I'll get that out hopefully this week. I got some other stuff to mail off as well. Got something to send off to Nesdol. I haven't named a guitar. I'm not against the idea. Never inspires. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, some people will name all their guitars, you know, uh, women. Says, but not all my guitars have women's names. Um, some have guys' names. Pound cake. Interesting. There he is. My Jackson's Jackie. I know, really original. See, I yeah, I would I can't do that because my telly is actually named Jackie White. I can't have two Jackies. Lawrence doesn't name his either. Uh, it depends, right? I guess it depends on the guitar. Because like I say, some have names, some don't. Exactly. White cars. Actually, I think I only named one of my cars. And I don't even think I named it. Uh, a girl named it. And it's stuck. She named my Camaro Loot. All my guitars have names. 594, 509, Custom 24. Nice. Name it Putin. Black Jackie. Nice. Well, uh, when I got the modern player telly, I named it Jack because it was a jack of all trades. <laughs> Excuse me. And then when it got returned, I got the white telly as a replacement. So it became Jackie White. Uh, Toony if it's a double neck upside down. Come on. My his name is Old Dirty B. <laughs> Craig. Ooh, pearlescent white. Nice. Those are nice. Not gonna lie. Not those are nice. Timbit. So, I'm trying to think. Oh, we never even really discussed last night. Holy crap, folks. Thanks to everybody for tuning into that. That was amazing. Like I say, I kept looking up and the viewers was in the 80s, 90s. I think we hit 95. I won't know... Uh, you don't get the numbers in on a live stream for 48 hours that'll tell you the more advanced stats. But I'm curious to see, because it could have been a new record on the channel. 
And Rhett's a great guy. Like, we talked for a good hour after the show as well. And, uh, hey, Jason Wade. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Soda, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, Jason. I'm turning into you, I think. I got a Wolfgang last week. I got a LPD Modern Classic now, too. Rhett is a great dude. Yeah, really cool guy. Um, we exchanged numbers last night as well, and uh, we're going to try to get together uh, during Winter Nam. It was a great hang, Joe. And like I say, Joe, Rhett's a super chill guy. He's definitely got stuff going on. You know, that guy, he's out there doing it. He's definitely out there doing it, yo. Know, whether he's playing with Noah or he's playing with... God, I can never remember her name. Help me, Todd. Jesse. Jesse Wilson. Thanks, Tom Harhai. Yeah, very humble. Great guy. And I think Joe asked last night to see if I could get Rick Beato on. I will try. That that would be cool, that'd be really cool. Um, so I've got it looks like this Sunday, I have Dylan from uh, Flipside Music coming on. Dylan Washburn, you guys know Dylan, he co-hosts along with Ike, the owner of Flipside, which everybody should check out Flipside Music's YouTube channel. Please subscribe, leave a question. They do a weekly uh, FAQ show. Please leave a question. Really good content, Craig. I agree. Yes, Tom, uh, Rick Beato is Yoda. I swear he is. Yeah, he knows everything. That's a good question, Lawrence. I was like, should we text him? I can't, but I'm using my phone to live stream. So, uh, yeah, uh, so we got Dylan coming on. Dylan's a pedal head, so we're going to talk a lot about pedals and stuff and... He plays an explorer in his band, and we'll talk about that. And I think he plays like doom metal type stuff. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, we got Dylan coming on, and then uh, the Sunday after that, this guy's coming back on. I was thinking about having uh, Lawrence on this coming Sunday, but the last time I scheduled to hang out with him, my package didn't arrive, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought, let's give him an extra week. Hey, Laz, that was a killer stream with Rhett. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I usually know about the same time as everybody else with Rhett. Nice. Um, yeah, so, and I'm just thinking here, barring, like, roundtable members... And stuff. Uh, I think Lawrence is going to be the first guest that's appeared three times on the channel. I think. Oh, wait. I take that back. The Captain Michael Smith. He's been on three times. Little roadie guitar. You interested in coming on sometime? Hit me up at the email down below. We can talk. Figure something out. You know, because we try to... I try to mix it up. You know, musicians, industry folks, fellow YouTubers. You know, that's kind of the three categories. Get Jason Johnson from Fuzz Lord Effects. I'll have to remember that. Fuzz Lord Effects. Okay. Um, you know who could help me out with that would probably be Aaron from Elvis. That's right, Lawrence. You are all three. Gary needs a new camera. Uh, Tom, I am about 100 miles east of Toronto. Thank you very much, Les. Cheers, brother. And I will see you at Winter Nam, right? Because you were there last year. But we didn't really know who each other were at that time, I don't think. I think we literally met up right after that, Les. It seems to me. Yeah, because you were like, hey, you were at Winter Nam? I was at Winter Nam. Need to have a subscriber on as a guest one night, maybe as a holiday special. Yeah, uh, we did that couple of weeks ago, PC Rich, subscriber hangout. I like to do one every two or three months. Yeah, Lawrence, no kidding, because, like, we know so ma many more people, right? That's, that's the whole thing. Like, I feel bad. Like, Lawrence and I, we've become really good friends. It is like a family reunion. That's what Winter Nam felt like for me, because I had done one event already. But, uh, 
Yeah, it does feel like a family reunion. And I felt bad because I was thinking when we first met, I was talking Philip's ear off and I barely talked to Lawrence. And Lawrence has become one of my best friends. I'm not going to lie. We talk all the time. Philip says is playing in Ottawa this week. Oh, man. I would like to. That's about two and a half, three hour drive for me up to Ottawa. Because there's no direct routes, unfortunately. Like, there's no interstate. So it's like two lane highway. Cool. Yeah, hit me up, uh, you know. Um, like, hey, Driddle. Generally, what I would do, like, if, unless you have, you know, a channel that you're constantly putting out content, we'll say, you know, like um, Guitar Hack or Phil McKnight or TK, you know, definitely dedicated. You find folks, you know, generally, especially if it's your first time on camera, I like to get three or four of you guys on at once because there's less pressure on each of you. And I, I'm not saying you wouldn't be great in front of the camera. I'm just saying, you know, it, it works. Trust me. Yes, Les. Uh, I will be, for those that are going to be attending Winter Nam, and remind me to keep saying it, we'll exchange contact info. And basically, you'd send me a text, hey, I'm at Winter Nam, and I will send you a booth number where I am. Thank you, Hugh. I wish, uh, Part of it's, I got to do some 4K videos. I think that'll really promote the channel. Or, you know, let your friends know. Share the stuff, you know. Get the word out as much as you can. I really appreciate it. You know, like, I look at it. It is a team effort in many ways. You guys are really uh, helping me out. Just throwing a commercial out there. If you get a chance, go see Peter Frampton. Go. Yeah, because it's his last tour. Sharing videos is huge for growth. Exactly. So if you're on Twitter or... Facebook, you know, share the videos onto those platforms. It gets the name out there more. Um, it's funny because if you post a video on a lot of places now, like Facebook, you can watch the video from Facebook. So it's it's not a monetized view, but at least it's a new face watching my stuff. That's right, Brad. Uh, starting it. At the Majestic Hotel, best off-site place, great place for breakfast. Cool. Um, I'm staying at JJ's house. So, it's a pretty good place for breakfast, too, because JJ makes you breakfast. <laughs> and JJ, if you're watching on replay, I haven't seen you in here, brother. I miss you, man. We're getting there. The countdown's on, what do we have, like four and a half months? Bam and Phil could travel together from the UK, meet up with us. Merrickville is my little paradise. Love that town. So quaint. Just across the river from Ogdensburg. Okay. I was like, I know Merrickville. I thought that sounded familiar. Phil's talking about the various shows he's attending. Yes, get out there. Get, you know, and that's another thing. If you're looking to, uh, hey, Simon, welcome. And again, yeah, I'd like, you know, you folks, if you're what if you come across a live stream and you dig the content, definitely subscribe. Oregon Steve, there he is. Uh, you missed a lot, buddy. I showed off new guitar. I unboxed three new pedals, and I gave a pedal away. Yeah, get your face out there. Do the events. Uh, get yourself known in the chats. You know, that's, I've gained, I swear, at least half my subscribers, if not two-thirds of my subscribers, just hang out in chats like you folks are doing right now. And just talking with our fellow community members. <coughs> that's right, and we named the new guitar, too. And if, for those who don't know, Steve, Oregon Steve is Steve Keys. Vice Versa Stephen Keys, formerly. Now, Oregon Steve. He's going to start doing some content, so give him a sub as well. And Phil Mosley Music, he's probably going to go live after I'm done. Are you going live, Phil? Let me know. If so, post a link maybe if you have it set up, because I just really haven't gone a good hour and a half, so i got to get off this. So we still have data for next week and the week after. So definitely do that.
More than welcome, buddy. Well, you, you took the time to message me and let me know, give me a heads up as to what's going on. All right, there we go. So Phil's going to go live in a few minutes, so I'll probably wrap things up here. Got a little beer left. A little right amp? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, half ace. It's labeled as a Greta, but it was actually made by Fender as part of their pawn shop series. There we go. Uh, I'm drinking Bud Light tonight, Craig. I'm very stocked up on nicotine. Yes, Pawn Shop series. If you're on another live stream, do I have to buy another pedal? Which one, if so? <laughs> yes, you do, Les. Every time Lawrence comes on here, somebody has to buy a pedal from him while we're live. That's part of the deal. He's hiding a fresca in the cozy. There we go. There's your uh, proof in the pudding. Phoenix Fuzz. There you go. Molson Golden. Oh, God. I bought a six-pack of that once and gave five of them away. No offense. I, I can't drink that stuff. But it's more of an ale than a lager, I think. But they still make Fresca. I just, I just can't drink it, Craig. I tried. Then again, I haven't had that in, since I was 19, I think. Ale-ish, yes. Because I can't remember. Molson Golson. Yingling. Nice. Nice. Moosehead. A classic. And Canadian. I like that. Got a Phoenix Fuzz and a Havelina. See, that one I knew. Because I know. Hopefully he'll show them on live stream soon. Yeah, maybe this Friday he'll go live. That'd be nice. I haven't seen Fresca since the 80s in the eastern U.S. Weird. Need some kokanee. Ah, stay away from that kokanee. Mid-80s Molson Golden was the style where I'm from. Nice. Ah. Loving the 68 Deluxe. Cool. Labatt 50. Look out. Champagne bottles. Yeah. My cousin calls it 5-0. Now that's a strong ale. It's kind of their uh, equivalent of uh, Molson X. Hey, Mike. Good to see you, man. Hello from Prince George, BC. Nice. Welcome. So again, if you're watching on replay, I'm 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 pushing for 2,000 subs for Winter Nam. So please subscribe if you're new. At least it's not a Zima. Yeah, we have a few Zima lovers that follow this channel. I'm sure you saw that there's two of these before the show even started, so screw them. Yes, it does, Terry. I saw it in a store not too long ago. Oh, Molson Triple X, look out. That stuff's nuts. Yeah, the Zima lovers, you know, they love supporting the Zima. Whatever. So we got 74 of these, though. We got 50 people watching. I think I'm going to wrap things up because, yeah, I've been going an hour and a half. I'm rambling. So there we are. Until next time. Oh, oh, we did mention the channel supporters, but we didn't mention the Patreons. Part of the deal of being a Patreon, check it out, patreon.com slash Ben Coombs. Um, if you want to join, awesome. I created a new tier uh, this week. You can join for a dollar a month if you want. If you want. Oh, it is there. Okay. Thanks, Terry. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd like to thank my patrons, Todd Flowers, Ivan Carter, and Randy Crooks. Thank you very much, guys. I know I've got a fourth person in there who's currently just following. You know who I'm talking about, because you're in the chat. I saw you just recently in here. You're in here. Hey, Wilmar, just subbed your channel last week. Lawrence, I've been watching, but never knew you had a channel. You should announce it more. Yes, 
Lawrence Petros has a channel. Check it out. Subscribe to him as well because he demos most of the gear that he puts out on the market. Cheers, Hugh. Appreciate it. So, yeah. Um, I think the tiers are $1, $5, $15, and $25 or 35 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you want to do that, you know, for a buck a month, hey, why not? Uh, you get a shout out each week at the end of Connects with Guitars. Any gear that I'm going to put up for sale will go up on there first. Except for probably, I'm going to put a couple amps up for sale. But you guys, like, unless you live locally, there's no point. It would cost a fortune, right? So, anyways, yeah, I'm probably going to put some stuff. I need to thin the herd a bit. Throw some pedals up there. Oh, wow, upside down. Thanks, dude. Which uh, LPD should you get? You know what? That Modern Classic's pretty damn good, man. It's a unique pedal. Um, like I say, check out the Modern Classic because it does dual clean and dirty at the same time. Really great for mellow stuff. Uh, if you're into mellow. If you're into real heavy stuff, pff, 87, hands down. Um, I wouldn't recommend a boost only because you don't really need a boost unless you're gigging. Um... But uh, yeah, and plus, you know, always check on Lawrence's site, you know, every few weeks because he's always come up with something new. And they're all limited runs. So really, check it weekly. That's the best thing I can recommend. So until next time, you know, we got 48 watching. People are bailing. And that's fine. Go watch Phil Mosley. He'll be live in a few minutes. I'm Ben. Thank you, each and every one of you, for tuning in. Hey, Steve Luther. You folks that tune in right at the end and say hi. I love it. You know, you could have been watching the whole time. I'm not sure. So I'll have a video coming out Wednesday morning, probably demo a guitar because I think that's all I have in the can at the moment. And as I always say, hold those doors open, let that guy ahead of you in traffic, do good things and good things will happen to you. Karma is real. Pay it forward. Let's be positive, be good to each other. Screw the negativity. Congrats again to me <laughs> getting these awesome new tone sources from Lawrence. And congrats to Headstock Harem on getting an Electro Harmonics Soul Food. Thanks, Tom. I do appreciate it. And I will see y'all... I'll probably be over in Phil's chat in a little while once I get this all torn down and stuff. So, there we go. Cheers. Rock on. And again, be good to each other. Let's stomp out this negativity in life.